Animal Hospital of West Port St. Lucie needs your help caring for a dog found with a head injury. Now we want to warn you, this picture you're about to see is a little hard to look at. Rescuers say this dog could have been a bait dog and the wounds could be infected puncture wounds from fights. Terry Parker has the story from Port St. Lucie. It's a terrible case of animal abuse. Take a look at this little one-year-old pit mix puppy. They're calling her Taylor, but you can see where they had to do surgery on her. She was brought in here. She's probably bait for a dog fighting ring. She's beautiful. She's, She's certainly getting a lot of love and attention now. Workers here say a couple dropped the little dog off Monday with injuries so severe. At first, it looked like someone shot her in the head. She had multiple bite wounds from another dog that were penetrating into her head and all the way down deep up to her skull. Um, and they were completely infested with maggots. Dr. Leonard Fox had to remove two inches of necrotic skin. He says she was starving and dehydrated and her little ears had been hacked off as a puppy in some type of crude ear cropping, typical in fighting pit bulls. But this little pup was no fighter. She's so terrified of other dogs that you can see that she was used or she was in a fight with another dog and then just left to die on Taylor Road. So hence we named her Taylor. Now she's getting cold laser treatments to help in her healing, antibiotics, and lots of treats and love. The couple who brought her here say they found her like this, so who did this to her is a mystery. She's doing so well now, and the outpouring of support has been wonderful, but I'm confident she's going to get a really good home. Now, Dr. Fox tells me he thinks Taylor is going to make a full recovery, and then she's going to be adopted out to a loving home. If you'd like to make any donations, they would sure be appreciated. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.